Uh, this is going back to the integrated review. Uh, it was just a question about uh, public consent, uh, which is the less we have public consent for our foreign and security policies, the more secure our enemies are. Um, in the same way, the less we can rely on our allies, our alliances are in fact, you know, I would say our major advantage over hostile states, the stronger our, uh, those hostile to us are. It's very difficult to evidence public consent and also erosion in public consent. Um, so I'm wondering what efforts the Foreign Office is currently taking to measure UK public consent and therefore success of our activities, but also conversely the success of hostile, government, hostile governments to undermine that public consent and whether that's been taken into account in the integrated review, because I think one of the big gaps throughout uh, my experience of our national security apparatus is that understanding the importance of public consent and maintaining support at home and understanding of what we do abroad in the interest of British people. I, I agree with you, Ms. Kearns. I think traditionally uh, the United Kingdom has uh, had a, 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 a good appreciation and good support for uh, British involvement around the world. I agree uh, that this has been under pressure in, in recent times, and I agree that we need to look at how uh, the COVID crisis affects that. Um, but um, so, this, yes, this is what you're talking about is a part of the integrated review. We will be looking at um, uh, domestic understanding and the strength of domestic support uh, for what we are doing. Fantastic, just because I think the key element is less uh, a kind of overall understanding of how we help people, which is, is, you know, the number one job of government is to keep its people safe. The number one job of the Foreign Office is to keep people safe abroad, but it is the fact that hostile nations their primary some of their primary efforts at the moment are those offensive capabilities in terms of information and undermining public consent so thank you for confirming that we part of the integrated review